I'm Warren Davis, and you're watching the Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. Hey, everybody. This is Ed from the Evercade Effect. And man, oh, man, we have been having so much Evercade news should overload and everything this week. So the Thalamus Collection 1, if I'm saying that right, has officially been announced. Um, yes, it's a computer collection. I have not yet watched the trailer. Let's go ahead and do that now. And um, yeah, and we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, note that uh, I'm unable to use the official music because it flags it as copyrighted. So therefore, it's muted. So let's 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 take a look here. All right, yeah, Peggy Twelve. Okay. Evercade presents doo -doo 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 -doo. eleven home computer games. Okay, okay. For the famous British publisher, yeah, I, I never, I never heard of Thelemus. All right, I do like yeah, they're using the new the new Evercades. Very very cool. EXPR. Uh huh. Okay, it looks like another shooter creatures. That creatures too. Okay, that looks like a cute little platformer. That may be good. Hawkeye. Interesting. Heat seeker. What the heck is that? <laughs> uh, Hunter's Moon remastered. And newbie the Ardvark. And Nobby the Ardvark. Retrocade. Snare. Summer camp. Okay. Uh, actually, ooh, some winter camp. <laughs> See, that looks like a much better winter game. Okay, and it's available in July. That looks like a bunch of better uh, winter games. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, go through and, uh, and and talk about this for a moment. So yeah, uh, it's, it's it's no secret that you know the blue cart line is is not my favorite. I don't have the nostalgia and whatnot for the Commodore sixty four or Amiga. Um, just because I you know I didn't grow up with those systems. However, it doesn't mean that I, I can't enjoy it. Uh, but we've had a lot of you know a lot of blue. Uh, Baba dee, Baba die. You know, kind of like you know, you can see behind me. We need more purple. I want more. <laughs> I want more purple on that shelf. So, yeah, this isn't nearly as exciting or groundbreaking as Tomb Raider. And, and I get that Blaze has to throw out there, you know, the licenses they can easily get. Uh, but sure, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll have the fun of going through and playing it. Let's, but let's let's take a look at all the games now that I've you know that I've that I've seen the trailer. Let's go ahead and just take a look at all the games. And we can kind of go through these, and I can kind of I can kind of tell you here, you know what I, you know what I think. Um, here we go. Play wants to work. So yes, yes, yes. Everkeed presents. Yes, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. Wish there was an easier way that I could just skip past. Let's just bear with me here a moment. But yeah, I love I love the new look of the EXP and VSR. That is so cool. Okay, so. Armalite, I, I totally mispronounced that. Okay, so the competition edition over that means. So again, we kind of have like the typical shooters from this era, where you can see they have those kind of like same like stylized graphics. Uh, this one though, let's see a little further. This one actually, uh, well, it looks like it might not be a maze shooter. What I mean by a maze shooter is I'm not a big fan of shooters that you have to like go through. Like you know, it doesn't really feel like a shoot 'em up. It feels like you just have to kind of go through and guide your vehicle or aircraft or the maze and then you can easily die so that I, you know that doesn't look as exciting but uh these two creatures and creatures too this uh, you know i want to say that we really haven't seen like that many like normal platformers so the, the, it actually look really cool it, look, it looks like a cute little platformer get the sequel i think these two games will be fun so i'm looking forward to these two games here and then we have hawkeye which this looks really neat this wow this looks really cool. I wonder if, if this is also like a run, like that looks like a running gun or I don't really know, but that, that looks exciting to me. Heat seeker. I don't know what the hell this way. That looks so weird. It's just like a, an arm and like a basketball. I don't, I don't know. Hunter's moon. No. So this is an example of what I mean by one of those like shooters where it's not really like a shoot em up in the traditional sense where you go through enemies, level scrolling. This is going to kind of be one of those weird puzzle. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not my cup of tea. And then we have not Nobby the Aardvark. This, this looks like a really cool platformer. So we have three platformers. Okay, I'm look I'm looking forward to that. This collection's actually looking a little bit better. And then we have Retrograde. This is gonna be hit or miss. This is gonna be like I wish this would just kind of be like, hey, a shoot 'em up, but this might be a weird float around. I don't know. It could be cool. 
could be an exploration game. Yeah, so this isn't, I'm not looking forward to snare. This is a, a, a prime example of where it looks like it would be a vertical shooter, but you have to dodge around all these obstacles and things. And I, I don't like that one that's just, it's maze heavy, it's obstacle heavy. You can just like crash, right? Like I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, so yeah. Yep. Yep. Now summer camp. So traditionally like the summer Olympics and winter Olympics that we've seen, I'm not a big fan of those games. This look at this little mouse and Acme. I mean, dude, this looks like a really cool kind of platformer. And then you have like winter camp. So I guess this is like the sequel and you're having to dodge around. So I don't know if this is going to be like a bunch of mini games, but you know, it looks like fun, right? Non-realistic. Like I, I love that, 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 you know, those both of those games look like a lot of fun. So I think it looks like we're going to have a handful of games on here that I think are going to be at least decent to good and they're going to be fun. And so definitely, you know, I plan on picking up this cart. Full disclosure, I pick up all the Evercade carts because it's about, you know, it's just, it's, it's about like um, the discovery. It's about playing games I've never played before. And uh, yeah, I think they will be, I think they will be fun and nostalgia to be found. I think this will be an interesting pairing uh, with the Tomb Raider cart and all that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I love the hype train. Um, if you just stumbled upon this channel through the YouTube verse and you aren't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing because today it is what Friday, Friday the 19th, the time I'm recording this video, the 20th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I have a weekly podcast, Evercast, where it is me, Pete the Ever Canadian, Rich from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Crow from the Crow Continuum. And we talk everything Evercade related. I can't wait to talk with my friends and get their opinions on you know, how much they like or they don't like all the new stuff. So you're going to want to sub for that. I've been going live pretty frequently, at least uh, two times a week. Um, we have a PO box. We've got memberships, all those awesome YouTube things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, thank my channel members. Thank you so much for walking. Comment below. I mean, for walking, watching, comment below. Let me know what you think about this new collection and if it's something you're going to pick up, etc. Bye-bye. Thank you, Crashline, Mr. Shua, and the Immortal Soldier!